JavaScript is the most popular and most widely used and most hated programming language in the world. Uh, almost all our favorite applications uh, like Facebook, Netflix, YouTube, Amazon, Uber, Walmart, Instagram, Advanced Auto Parts, and all, most of the e-commerce applications are using JavaScript. So we should definitely look into uh, what is JavaScript. So here I want to mention one very, very important thing that is we can run, execute JavaScript inside the browser like client and server also. So if you see, you can't run C, C++, Java, and PHP, and C .net and Ruby, all other 100 plus programming languages on the client side that is called browser. So only one popular and mm, the powerful programming language which we can run in the client side at the same time server side is the javascript that is the specialty of the javascript and uh, now in recent time in 2022 we can run python also in a browser with the help of PyScript, but this is in a initial stage so first of all we should understand some important things uh, in the evolution of uh, javascript okay initially the html page was not that much dynamic so to make html page dynamic um, we need some programming language okay netscape netscape navigator and with the help of sun microsystems um, they appointed one engineer uh, his name is brendan eek and uh, they have given some tasks that uh, do some Thing and we need to make HTML page dynamic and if we can get some programming language it's a great thing so this person and his team um, did some hard work and they came up with a really really awesome programming language called JavaScript uh, uh, in the year 1995 December 4th okay if you see so JavaScript is designed in just 10 days Initially, it is designed to run, execute in a browser. The first um, week, the JavaScript, and he just designed the JavaScript programming language at the same time, JavaScript engine. Okay. Uh, initially, the name of the JavaScript is Mocha, then it is LiveScript, and then the name of our favorite programming language is JavaScript. So there is a small confusion between um, like people uh, always have a discussion like what is the difference between java and javascript okay normally uh, they have used this keyword called java to uh, use the um, it is a marketing strategy okay apart from that uh, there is no a primary um, logic between a java and javascript and uh, we can call javascript as ecmascript also because uh, ECMA, ECMA means European Computer Manufacturer Association. They are providing a standards for the JavaScript. So we can call JavaScript as an ECMA script also. And here we need to understand very, very important turning points in the journey of JavaScript. Initially, JavaScript was not that much popular. We are using, uh, we are not using widely. Okay. But if you understand these three turning points, you will fall in love with JavaScript. So the first turning point is like Ajax and jQuery and uh, and Ember.js and Knockout.js came into the market. And uh, this is the first turning point, Ajax. And I'm just mentioning few other important thing in the turning point one, that is jQuery and Ember.js and Knockout.js. But if you see the turning point two is in, happened in 2008 that is angular js of course knockout and ember are inspiration to bring the angular js but this is the first most popular pro, um, the framework f on top of javascript and uh, the single page application era has started yes definitely knockout js and ember js are great but angular js got the attention that is designed by the google and from that point everyone started using javascript widely because of the single page applications okay and the next turning point is node.js this is the most important most of the people really don't know 
this important thing so this is previously we can run javascript inside the browser only inside the client only but the great engineer called Ryan Dahl he did some research and he came up with the node.js with that we can execute javascript on the server so the same javascript engine which we are using in the google chrome v8 engine he you know, with the help of that he embedded so with some code c and c plus plus and some sort of javascript and he came up with a new javascript environment runtime environment called node.js so from 2009 we can we are running javascript on server also so new competitor came to the server side programming languages here we need to understand one thing java is multi-threaded c sharp dotnet is multi-threaded and most of the other programming languages are multi-threaded the specialty of the node.js is this is single threaded and asynchronous that's why we need to use javascript inside the uh, we on the server side also and the most of the people are started using javascript in the server side also this is a huge turning point in the javascript history and later of course we got lots of lots of um, javascript frameworks um, for front end and server side also um, the most popular library is react.js and we can call vjs and angular or frameworks these are the most popular libraries or frameworks used in nowadays and electron is for desktop applications next.js is came on top of react.js and not only these things and every two months or three months a new framework is coming on top of javascript so definitely 100 plus libraries or frameworks which are very helpful to design the modern web applications or even we can use javascript and mobile applications also with the help of react native so now you can see we can come to the same point that here java specialty of the javascript is we can run we can execute in the browser that is called client at the same time server side so and we, you can't run C, C++, Java, PHP or Python or any other programming languages on client side. So we can say in, from the, in the client side, in the front end development, JavaScript is the only thing. Okay, still Python, we can run in a browser with the help of PyScript, but that is an in initial stage only. So that now we can say that JavaScript is the only one king in fr for the front end. At the same time, JavaScript is very helpful with the help of that special quality that this is single threaded and asynchronous so that it is just occupied um, some of the market share in the server side also so now in like from last 10 years most popular programming language most loud programming language widely used programming language at the same time surprisingly most hated programming language also javascript because why people hate javascript means javascript is not that much easy to learn if you don't understand javascript properly definitely you will hate it so if you want to learn properly you need some trainer or someone uh, and from proper guidance you should learn it then it's easiest programming language so this is what uh, the hist like some important points and important uh, key point um, the turning points in the javascript and uh, i hope you understand a little bit about javascript in the next video i will come up with more details what is single page application and what why we need to run javascript on the server um, what is single thread and asynchronous what is the difference between the java and uh, java uh, the node.js and what is react and what is view and what is angular js and everything we are going to learn step by step okay if you like this video if you understand just please click on like button and subscribe thank you see you in the next video bye bye